So I just finished watching the first season of American Horror Story and wow, wow. First things first, American Horror Story is an insanely weird program. I actually really enjoy the series. My friends were going on about it for quite a while now about how I should be watching American Horror Story and at the time I was thinking oh maybe it's just kind of something that you know is not going to spike my taste but in many ways it kind of clues into the gothic genre and that sort of horror thing and I'm really into that. Not that I'm like weird or anything but say if you watch Penny Dreadful, Penny Dreadful is all about the gothic world with a collaboration of Frankenstein, Dracula, you have werewolves, witches and even Dorian Gray and it's done in such a really nice and elaborate way which is not too cheesy and stuff. That's how I found American Horror Story. Wow, there's so many plot twists. There's It takes you by surprise just as it would do in Game of Thrones and I think that's what's most successful about programs if they're able to take you by surprise and subvert your different stereotypes, archetypes and generally your expectations and I think that's just what the program did. The series altogether Oh my god, um, I'm kind of conflicted um, thinking about the opinions that I have on different characters, um, mainly being Tate. I, Evan Peters is a very attractive person and I find it difficult to kind of shun his character away because at the same time as him being really psychotic he's just like a puppy. It shouldn't be, but he is. After the first few episodes I thought, oh my god, this guy, you know, he's changed his ways, maybe um, as a ghost he's a better person, he doesn't remember about all the things that he did in the past and he's just, he's done change for the better and with the help of Violet, he's, yeah, he's just a better person. But then after I found out about him in the rubber suit and all the other stuff with the hanky-panky and stuff, um, my opinions kind of faltered. I'm not really supportive of him anymore, but I still can't help feeling some sympathy for his character after Violet shuns him away and says, I can't forgive you. I do love you, but I can't forgive you. And now it's kind of giving me problems because I, I, I don't know. This is a video literally just saying about my feelings because I don't know how to express them in any other way possible and it's kind of eating at me. Ugh. Just as a general thing, American Horror Story is great if you love gothic stuff, if you like horror stuff. It's got a lot of gory stuff in it. If you're not a big fan of that sort of stuff or it kind of scares you a bit, then maybe this might not be the best program or well, series for you. But if it's, say, more of the supernatural side of things that does scare you, there aren't a lot of jump scares in it, so that's good because I'm the sort of person that doesn't really like the jump scares. I like getting a kick and a thrill out of it. But, you know, I don't like too much of the supernatural, and this was entirely based on the supernatural, but in a good way. It was all these physical entities expressed in such an interesting way. I think it's a very interesting series, season, seasons. I haven't watched any more, but I will be watching some once I buy more of the sets. And you can hopefully expect more word from me in the future on that because I'm loving it so much.